Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Winesair members. Anyone else who's tuning in to watch this um, YouTube video, courtesy of Central YMCA. Um, I'm Declan, and I'm going to be today doing a sort of a follow-up to one of my previous videos, um, another sort of strength and conditioning session. So um, I'm going to aim to work the whole body, so legs, core, arms, shoulders, chest, upper back area. Um, as always, if you just make sure wherever you're working out, whether it's in your lounge, your bedroom, your kitchen, that you've got plenty of space um, around uh, you, because um, we are going to be moving a little bit today. So maybe just um, set the room up a little bit before you start doing the workout. If you have any injuries or conditions that you're working with, um, just take it easy. I will give some options. Um, so do listen out for any options. I've also got a chair. You can see it just in the background. Um, so I would have a chair, a solid chair handy, um, because there will be some stuff that, you know, some of you might need um, just to hold on to something for balance. Um, so it's an option. For resistance, I have got two bottles today filled with water. Now, if you've got weights at home, by all means, use the weights. Um, I'm going to use the bottles because I'm conscious that not everyone has weights at home. So I'm trying to be inventive as much as I can be when I do these workouts. Um, and also have a something that you can throw. Um, it could be a tennis ball if you've got that. But I'm going to use an onion. Um, or you can use an apple, a lemon, anything you've got. We're going to use that to do a little bit of reaction time um, training and speed training, etc. a bit later on. So um, as always, uh, getting ready just to start with a bit of a warm up. Um, and make sure you've got some loose fitting clothing on and some comfortable trainer shoes on uh, as well. Um, later on in the video, I will be doing some things bare feet, but for now, have shoes on just to protect your um, your feet should anything drop. I don't want anyone injuring themselves, obviously. So um, let's get started. All right. So coming to the middle of the room, just taking my glasses off for now. Just check that you have got a nice solid posture so that you've got some connection around the abdominal area. Your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Um, your, your spine is lengthening uh, and you've just got a little bit of um, uh, uh, feeling for your posture at the moment. And try and always come back to the posture during your workout. When I say squeeze abdominals, I literally mean that you've got to almost imagine you had a tight belt wrapped around the waist that was pulling you in. Start off though, nice easy march on the spot. So just a nice steady march. You can have some music playing in the background if you like for a bit of a oomph, but it's absolutely up to you. I've chosen not to use music today because I want you to actually hear the teaching points, but by all means put some music on if you fancy. So just march it out on the spot. And as you march out, just start to walk the legs out a little bit and then back into center and then out a little bit and back into center. So at any point in time, when I start moving around, if you prefer to stay static in the room and just stick with the march on the spot, that's absolutely fine. But just start to move the body a little bit now. And as you do that, start to roll the shoulders out. So just a couple of times to the back and a couple of times forward. So just getting some movement throughout the shoulder area. Just sometimes we can all be a little bit stiff, a little bit tight in. And then we're going to take the legs out. Fantastic. All right. Start to lift the knees a little bit higher and start to bring that pace up just a little bit. Okay. Now, if you've got space around you, I'm going to start taking it into a light little jog. And I'm just going to shake up my hands. I'm going to move my wrists a little bit and just get the heart rate up a little bit to get everybody moving. Yeah. And if you fancy, you can jog a few times forward. And a couple of times back, so you're kind of moving in the room. You know, if you've got a big room and space, you can jog around the room. Just giving it everything going now. Keeping the abdominals sucked in, keeping everything tight. So just a little bit of a jog on the spot, getting that heart rate up, breathe through it. Try not to hold your breath. Hold static. From here, bring the arms up, hamstring curl, heel to bum with a chest press movement. So pushing the arms forward and heel to bum. Now again, start off slow, and then you can start to add a little bit of extra pace into this if you like. 
So we're mobilizing knee joints here, just getting them to loosen up, getting upper back shoulders to move. And again, focus on the chest is lifted, spine is lengthened. I may demonstrate from the side, but that's the move. Nice and easy, heel to bum. Good. So every now and again, I will turn my position so you can see me. Excellent. Shake it out. Back to a march on the spot, shake out the hands or take it into a jog. And again, a couple of times forward, a couple of times back, just loosening everything up and breathing. Warm up should be around anything from eight to 10 minutes in the warmer weather could be about five. So you can modify this as you feel you want to. And remember your option is to always stick with the fast walk and hold still. From here, we're gonna get the hips moving now. So starting off, knee raise, tapping the top of the thigh. Now this is your low intensity option. Stick with this. If you're feeling a little bit stronger, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Little rotation through the upper body. And you can add a little bit of a hop if you like. Take the knee up as high as you can and breathe. Three, two, one. Lovely. Shake it out, jog it out, or march it out on the spot. Hopefully, you're starting to feel a little bit warmer now, a little bit looser now. Take the legs up to the side. Bring the arms into a bit of a side swing. You can take the legs forward, kicking forward. And again, your option here is just to hold still and kick up. So you work with where you are today. And march it out, everyone. Well done. All right. Standing tall, bring the arms up. Soft shoulders. Rotate side. Center. Side. Center. So just getting the spine to move. Try not to move your hips. Try and just keep everything nice and controlled. Exhale as you turn. Inhale as you come back in. Nice and easy. Fantastic. Two more, please. And one more. Fantastic. Shake everything out. Shoulder roll again. Loosen up. All right, one last little push. We're gonna start going into the main workout in a sec. Jog it out or march it out. For those of you who've got space, jog forward and jog out of pack, jog back. And hold here, march it out, fantastic, all right. So we've got the warm up done. We've got some mobility around the hips and around shoulders. So we're gonna start the workout. Start with your feet, probably in line with the hips. Um, if that's difficult to judge, you can just bring your feet all the way in, step up with the heels and the toes. And then you should be nicely lined up. Yeah, chest is lifted, look forward, inhale, exhale gentle squat. So you imagine you're sitting into a chair. So push the hips back, keep looking forward. <sighs> Inhale up, breathe out. <sighs> nice and easy, keep the shoulders soft. So working the front of the legs, the back of the legs and the glutes. Now when you come up, you squeeze your buttocks in. So activate, squeeze. I'm gonna demonstrate from the side, have a look, keep going. Squeeze glutes. Squeeze glutes. Keep it nice and controlled. Spine stays lengthened, sitting into that chair. Two more. One more, hold it for three, two, one. Come up slowly, fantastic. Shake the legs out. Feels good, do a little hamstring curl here just to loosen up the knee joints again. And remember the depth of the squat is up to you. You can sit into a bar stool or a low chair. So how low you go is really up to your own range of mobility and flexibility. There's no hard rule, all right? Second set, line up the 
toes and ankles, heels out, toes out. Now everything's lined up. Kick feet face forward, chin up, draw the abdominals in. Second set, squat and lift. Now, on the second set, if you're feeling strong, you're gonna add in a calf raise. So squat, six toes. You squat, the heels lift up at the bottom. You're adding in a little bit of a dimension. Don't worry if you're not doing these. We're going to do some calf raises later on. Squat, calf raise from the side. Squat, heels up. Squat, heels up. Keep that pace. Good, nice and controlled. Don't rush this. Three more. Lift. Two more. Lift. Last one, shake it out. Fantastic. Do a little knee raise again. We did this earlier. It's always good to do these in between just to kind of loosen everything up. And again, you can add a little bit of a hop if you're feeling energetic. Up to you. Shake it out. All right. So hopefully you're feeling a little warmer now. We're going to work the inner thighs and the glutes. So we're going to do a wide squat. If this feels uncomfortable, by all means, repeat a narrow squat, which we just did. So you can modify this. Otherwise, laterally rotate the toes out. Sort of like ballet first position almost. Hands on hips. Watch if you need to, and then join in. There is no leaning forward here. It is a downward movement. Legs go to the side, so watch. See how the knees are tracking out to the side, hands are on the hips, you should feel the inner thighs engaging, and again the buttocks, the glutes, are squeezing at the top. <sighs> Lovely, keep it going. Nice and controlled. You've got three more, you've got two more, last one, hold, look up, breathe, smile, and release, step it in, shake it out. Excellent work. Option here, grab a drink, or do a little bit of a run forward and back, just to loosen everything up. Second set coming up. Excellent, all right, back into second set position, nice and wide. I'll demo from the side, actually, while I'm here. So, chin up, spine lengthened, draw the abdominals in, Eye line forward, lower, lift, lower, lift. You can see that I'm not leaning forward here. My torso is upright. So the depth is your own. You can go down a few inches and come up, or you can go a little lower. That's entirely up to you. Three more, good work. Two more, one more. Shake out the legs. Fantastic. So we've got the inner thighs working and we've kind of moved everything on. All right, so a little bit of cardio now, a little bit of reaction time. So I'd like you to take hold of your lemon, your ball, or your apple, whatever piece of vegetable or fruit you've got. So we're going to move a little bit here. So option one, draw the abs in, just start to catch single hand. Challenge here is to keep your eye on the prize. So you don't want it to drop. That's your challenge. You drop it, smile, bend your knees, pick it up, and get going again. Good. So nice one hand catch. You can throw it as high as you like. Make sure you grip with all your fingers. Bend your knees if you need to. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, move forward and move back. Reasonably fast pace, up to you. So just a little bit of coordination going on, a bit of fun. About a minute. Oh, dropped it. That's good though. Picked it straight up, kept going. Three more. Keep it going. Two more. And one more. Fantastic. Come back to that later again. All right. Still sticking now with some strength training. So we're gonna actually use our um, weights now. So take hold of your, you can also use cans, I meant to say that earlier. 
you want to use cans of beans or soup as your resistance, please feel free. Or just fill some bottles with water, or by all means don't use weights, you don't need to, just do the movement without. We're going to focus on deadlifts and upright rows, so we're going to work glutes, hamstrings, core. So deadlifts, I want your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Place the weights in front of the thighs, bend your knees. Now from here, look up and hinge from the hips and then slowly push up. Shoulders soften at the top and you hinge. So this is your deadlift. It's working the lower back, working the core. You're squeezing the buttocks at the top. So it's working the legs, working the hamstrings, and it is a hinge. So I'm gonna demonstrate from the side. So I'm gonna change my position, feet nice and wide, and you're gonna hinge. Can you see how my spine is lengthening? Keep looking forward, keep the shoulders soft, the arms stay long. Squeeze glutes at the top, lower, lift. Lower, spine long, lift one more please, and then release. Remember your knees should be as bent as you need them to be. Shake out the legs a little bit here. If it feels good, do this movement. Just kind of open up the hips a little bit, as if you were stepping over a really large fence to the side. So just lift them out, and you can go as high as you like. Second step. We're going to add in the upright row movement. So watch if you need to, and then join in. Starting off with deadlifts, look up, suck the belly in, lower. And then as you come up, you're going to hold, and the elbows will lead. You're going to lower down, you're going to hinge. So we're combining upper body with lower body. So hinge into deadlift, hold upright rows. So keep the weights or keep the cans or keep the bottles close to the chest as you lift up. And remember the elbows lead here. You're not hunching your shoulders up at the top. So it's a really slow and controlled movement. <sighs> exhale down, inhale up, exhale lift, inhale down. Exhale, hinge, inhale up, exhale, lift, inhale down. Two more, please. Good. Last one, I'm gonna demonstrate from the side. So you can see it is a deadlift and an upright row. Let's do one more, watch at the side. So you've got a good idea of body position and then release. Check out the legs. Give yourself a little break. We're going to come back to the legs a bit later. We're going to focus on the upper body now. So for the next one, we're going to work the upper back and shoulders. We're going to do a high row and a low row. I'd like you to have one leg forward, one leg back. You're going to lift up out of the waist and you're going to hinge forward. So the front knee bends and you can do a little bit of a boogie here. Just shake your hips a little bit. Let loose of any tension. Smile. Yay! Work out. Number 500, bring the arms forward, look up. Now you're gonna pull the arms back and you're gonna release. You're gonna pull the arms back and you're gonna release. So you are squeezing shoulder blades together as you pull back. The elbows draw slightly away from the body. You are not moving your torso. It's just the arms and shoulders that are moving. From the side, leg position, Soft knees, look forward, pull back, and release. Let's do three more, two more, and one more. Lovely, right. Low row, that was the low row. We're gonna go high row now. Swap legs, please. Take the other leg forward and take the other leg back. Same thing here, shake it out a little bit. Just boogie the hips side to side, loosen up. Then re-engage tummy muscles, look up, lean forward, arm position change, palms face into your legs, elbows come high. So this is almost like, I like to describe it as like a bird flapping. So the wings are kind of lifting. Keep looking forward. 
drop the chin slightly so you're not hyperextending your neck. Keep it slow and controlled. So torso is not moving, just the arms. Good, nice. Keep it going for three. Demonstrating from the side now. For two. And for one. And release. Step in. All right. Have a little break. So you're going to deadlift the weights down. So you're going to bend your knees. And you're just going to have a little bit of a break. Shake out your hands. Move your wrists a little bit here. Sometimes we create tension in the smaller joints. So just do a little bit of palms up, palms down, some circles, clockwise, anti-clockwise. You might want to interlock your fingers and do a little bit of a snake, kind of that way. So you're just loosening up shoulders again after working them so hard, pushing down, lifting up a couple of times each way. Changing palms up like you're rocking a baby. Not quite as vigorously, obviously, and then release, shake it out. Fantastic. So we've got the upper back shoulders working. We're going to focus on chest, then moving on to bicep, tricep, top of shoulders, and then doing some more leg work. So remember when you pick your weights up for safety, bend your knees, deadlift them up, please, to protect your lower back. So always be conscious of how you pick things up from the floor. From here, we're going to add in um, chest. So from here, you're going to have the palms facing in towards the legs. And you're going to start with the arms up here. So the elbows are just slightly below the shoulders. Now, soften your knees. You're going to reach forward. Weights will meet or buckles will meet or cans will meet. And you're going to pull back. You're going to reach and you're going to pull back. So it's a nice controlled movement. You will also feel the front of the shoulder working here to support. But essentially, this is working pectoral muscles or chest muscles. Exhale forward, inhale back. Good work, everyone. Keep it going. Changing my position. Just do three more, two more, and one more, and have a break. So roll the shoulders out, loosen up the neck a little bit, roll the head side to side. If it helps, look up, look down a few times, just shake yes, no, whatever feels good for the neck. Second set on chest, you might want to repeat what we just did. Otherwise, we're going to do what we call fly. So we did a, a chest press before. Arms are going to reach out just slightly below the shoulders, soft knees. Stick the bottom out, keep the abs tight. We're going to round, meet at the top, open. So this time around, palms are facing each other. And you're simply opening the arms out. Keep the bottles in your eye line, and then you round. Like you are hugging a tree. Elbows are soft. From the side, I'll change my position now so you can see the position of the arms. Good, keep it going. Rest if you need to and then join back in. You've got three, you've got two, and you've got one. And release. Okay, bend the knees, place the bottles down. Fantastic. Let's do a bit of cardio just for fun, all right, just to get everything loose. So your low intensity option for cardio, just a side step. Tapping the foot out to the side, arms reach out to the side. That is your low intensity option. If you're feeling stronger, star jump, soft knees, nice and strong. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Check out the legs. If you need a drink, grab a drink now, please, and get ready to work biceps, triceps. All right? So again, make sure that you can station yourself nice and um, safely. Now, with bicep curls, you've got the option. You can either have one leg forward, one leg back. 
or you can have feet parallel. What I don't want to see, and I'll demo from the side, is when you do a bicep curl that you're leaning back and leaning forward. That's the wrong way to do it. It's just the arms moving, yeah? So if you have a lower back issue, just be mindful and take one leg forward, one leg back, so you've got a bit of extra protection. Bend your knees, pick up your weights or your buckles, choose your position. I'm gonna go for a split stance. Elbows to the side of the body, shoulders soft, look forward, inhale, exhale, squeeze. So again, you're lifting the bottles up. As they hit the shoulders, you can trap the front of the arms. So you really tighten those muscles. Keep your wrists nice and strong. Take a chance now, change legs. Let's finish the set strong, just so you've balanced out the body. Four more, nice and strong. Three, tighten the front of the arm. Two, and you've got one, fantastic. Right, check out those legs. While we're here, I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do some more calf raises. So we're gonna hold the weights against our breastbone, or whatever we're using. Feet hip width apart, heels off, lower down. So a little bit of calf raise here just to give the arms a bit of a break, but rather than standing still, another bit of strength work. So just keep the eye line fixed forward. As soon as you look down, there's a tendency you kind of want to go that way, and this is where people lose their balance. Keep your eye line on a still point, lift and lower. You're going to get ready to hold and tiptoe now. So heels up, balance and tiptoe. Just stay there. If you come out, get back in. You've got time. Balancing on tiptoes for three, you should feel this in the calves for two, one. Fantastic, shake out the legs, have a little break. Okay, right, moving on to triceps, back of the arm. Two different exercises. We're gonna go for tricep kickbacks. So, you've got one leg forward, one leg back. You're gonna hinge forward from your hip, look up. Elbows into the side. And we're going to extend forearms away and then bring them in. So if you see from the side, my elbows are not moving. Just the forearms extend. The front knee is bent. The chest is lifted. Both feet are flat on the floor. Squeeze the back of the arm and release. So that is your tricep kickback. The further forward you will lean, the harder the arm will work, the back of the arm will work. I'm going to change my position now, keep going. You can just give me, so you can see now from the front how the elbows are not moving. Exhale as you go back. Inhale as you come in. Good, lovely. Two more, please. And rest. Step it in, shake it out, have a little break. All right. Option one, you can repeat that. Otherwise, we're gonna do an overhead tricep um, exercise. So you can use one weight, you can use both, all right? Or again, you can use no weights whatsoever and just do the movement without, it's absolutely fine. Soften your knees, lift the arms up, bend elbows, and then push forearms up. So it's a nice controlled movement. Elbows stay still in space, chin drops down slightly. I'm gonna turn around now and just so you can see how. Three more. Two more. Last one and then you release. Shoulder roll out, just place your weights to the side. Have a little break, shake everything out. Shoulder roll out, do a couple of arm circles here. Just reach up to the side, change direction, go in the opposite direction, just so you're constantly sort of changing that dynamic of movement. Shake out your hips a little bit and loosen up. 
All right. Okay, so we've worked bicep and tricep now. We're gonna work top of the shoulder. So we're gonna do shoulder press. Um, before we do that, I'm gonna give you an option because I'm conscious that some of you might find doing this movement for various medical conditions not always the best one. So I'm gonna give you an alternative, but you can all do it with me. So you've got the option. So the first set is gonna be a lateral raise. So you can have one leg forward, one leg back, just to stabilize the body. And then lift up out of the waist, draw the abdominals in. Lateral raise, arm side, lower down. So you don't throw the arms up, it's a slow controlled movement. Keep it nice and easy. Elbows soft to shoulder height, no higher. So this is your lateral raise. Let's do three more of these, working upper back shoulders, two more. You can hold on the last one, three, two, one, and release. So those of you who would rather not do any um, arms above head, repeat that. Everyone else, take the arms up, elbows out to the side, soft knees. Look up, you're gonna inhale, exhale, reach the arms up, and then come down. Up, so they come down to just in line with the shoulders. Reach and you lower. You reach up and you lower. Slow and controlled. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Keep that pace steady. Let's do single arm now. So one arm, right arm, lift, lower, and again, lift. This is an option, opposite arm, reach. One more on the side, reach. Finish off, both arms, and release down. Step in, check out the legs. Fantastic. So when we do the repetitions, we're aiming for repetitions of around um, anything from sort of eight to 12 repetitions. But any time, just have a break and then join back in. Shake your hands out. Do a little bit of movement with the wrists. If it feels good, move your fingers. And then we're gonna get ready to work the legs again. So earlier on in the workout, we did squats. Now, we may do some lunges. Um, if anyone has any hip or knee issues and finds these too much, your option is to go back to a narrow squats, which we did earlier on, or a couple of wide squats. So don't stand still, just keep doing it. For those of you who are gonna do lunges with me, I'm gonna demonstrate from the side and I'm gonna have a chair as a bit of a support, all right? So, with the lunge, you take one leg back, one leg forward. Now, it's really important the back heel is off the floor, all right? And you've gotta have quite a wide gap between the legs. Chest is lifted and torso is upright. Holding on, look forward, draw the abdominals in and up. Tighten your pelvic floor, that small muscle that you use to stop yourself from going to the loo, draw it up now and in. From here, you lower down and you lift. So it's a downward movement. I'm not going down too far. I'm just allowing both knees to bend and then I'm pushing up through the front leg. So it's a subtle move here, but it's working the glutes, it's working the quads, hamstrings and the calves, so all the leg muscles. Lower and lift, lower and lift, holding onto the chair for support. If you feel good, you can let go. One more and release, step it in. Take the hips, have a little break. Take the other leg back. Take a few seconds to get into your position here. Check the back heels off the floor and you've got a wide gap between your legs. Torso upright. Hands on the chair. Inhale, exhale lower, and then lift up. Lower down and lift up. So I'm gonna show you what you should not be doing. You should not be leaning forward here, all right? That's putting a lot of pressure on the front knee. That's a no-no. It's just a downward movement, upward movement. Pushing up through the front leg, using the core, the abdominal muscles to do that. 
A couple more, three more, good work. Two more, and one more. Strong step in, shake out the legs. Wiggle the toes, move the ankles a little bit here. You might want to do a couple of ankle circles clockwise. Always good to do mobility when you're doing a workout, just to keep the smaller joints moving. Grab a drink if you need a drink. Okay, shake it out. All right. So let's just do a little bit of cardio now just to warm everything up. So you've got an option here. You can either just do a march on the spot, if you're feeling that's where you are today, or we can just do a box step. So the box step is simply going out, out, in, in. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Once you've got the move, pick up the pace. Just get some movement in the hips. You can move the arms around a little bit here. If you feel up to it, just loosen everything up. Good. Three more, two more, and one more. And shake the legs out again. All right. So we're going to work the outer thighs now. So again, using a chair. So you've got that little bit of an opportunity to have that there for balance. It's just an option. I'm going to use mine today. Stand tall. Bring the chair into the side of the hip. So we're not, it's not on the other side of the room. Heel down, leg on the outside. You're going to simply take the leg outside. Small move. So toes are pointing up, ankle is dorsiflex, and the leg is just gently lifting up and then lowering down. Up, lowering down. So working the outer thigh muscles. Now we use these in everyday life for walking, <coughs> cycling, gardening. So it's important just to keep them moving. Two more, last one, hold. Supporting leg is rock solid and strong. And then release. Do this, open up the hip again a little bit. You can make a small movement or a really big movement. And shake it out. Okay, we're gonna bring the chair to the other side so we can do the other leg. So make the adjustments, stand tall, re-engage abdominals. Heel down, inhale, exhale, and small move. So the torso is not moving, all right? You're not moving the upper body at all. So again, if you're sort of lifting and then leaning over, that's a no-no, all right? You need to keep the upper body still. So your range of movement is your own. Everyone's different. Exhale as you lift up for three, for two, and hold, and then release shake it out while we're here we're going to practice some core work now some balance so without overthinking it draw abdominals in pelvic floor tightens up back to front lift the leg on the outside up you can hold on to the chair look up when you feel confident just let go it's still there it's not going to go anywhere but the focus is on lifting up out of the hip the leg can be a few inches off the floor it can be higher you can play with it and take the leg out, in, whatever feels good for you. Just draw everything in tightly now. Really, really focus and breathe for three, breathe for two, and breathe for one. Lower down, shake it out. Let's do the other side. So engage, quadricep, glute is tight. So your supporting leg is strong. Lift the other leg up a couple of inches. Fixatum is still a point ahead of you, not on the floor. Lift up, chest is lifted, hips are in line. And again, you can let go of the chair and just focus on your balance. Core muscles sucking in, breathe for three. Breathe for two and one, shake it out. Working your glutes now. Holding onto the chair for this, we're gonna do kickbacks, squeezing the glute muscle really tightly. So holding onto the chair, Coming in quite close, standing tall. Start to gently lift one leg up, right or left, and then small move. Now as the leg goes back, think about squeezing the buttock. Subtle move. And 
And again, a little bit of balance here as an option. You can let go of the chair and just focus on kicking back and look forward. Remember, that's just an option. If you'd rather hold on, hold on. Squeeze, draw the abdominals in. I'm not using my lower back here, everyone. Make sure the lower back is neutral. One more, hold it, and then release. Shake out your hips. When you're ready, other leg, please. Nice and easy. Always make the first two or three repetitions quite small. See how the body's feeling on any given day, all right? Really focus on that tightening. One more. And then release. Shake everything out. Fantastic. So hopefully you felt that work in the outer thighs and the glutes. And we've worked the other leg muscles in our squats, lunges, uh, etc. Okay, so for the next one, I'm just going to do a little bit of um, work on the ankles and the toes. So I'm going to actually suggest that we take our shoes off for this one. So we're bare feet. If you'd rather remain in socks, that's up to you. But hopefully in your own living room or kitchen or bedroom, you'll be happy to do that. So all we're going to do now is a bit of flexion and extension. So holding onto the chair for balance, you just lift the leg up, point the toes, and then just point and flex. Just kind of move the ankle here a little bit. We don't always move this joint a lot during the day because we always have shoes on. So it's good just to let it move. And then do a couple of ankle circles here, clockwise, anti-clockwise, wriggle your toes, move the smaller joints, and then release. Take the other leg, again, dorsiflex, point. So toes in, toes out. Just move that ankle, let the kicks happen, kicks are not bad. Those of you who want to notch it up a little bit can do it without holding onto the chair. A bit of extra balance and core work, and then do some circular movements. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, and loosen up. Fantastic, well done everyone. All right, fantastic. So let's get the chair out the way. Just do a little bit of a march on the spot now in bare feet or in socks and just shake everything out. Just do some shoulder rolls here again, loosen up. So we've worked the whole body in about just over 40 minutes. We've added in a couple of new exercises today. So there's a previous video I did, which you can do first, and then you can always progress onto this one um, and see what you think. Um, but just march it out now. We're gonna do a couple of stretches just to loosen everything up now because you've worked them pretty hard. So from here, shoulder roll again, and just kind of do a little bit of a reach up, soften the knees and reach up. So just a nice gentle move side to side, getting rid of any tension through the upper body, be as floppy as you need to be, gentle moves up, shoulders remain soft, and release, come to your center. Standing nice and tall, Bring one leg forward. Now use the chair if you need to for balance. Hinge the hip back, lift the toes up, feel a stretch through the back of the leg. So from the side, standing hamstring, hinge. Hold that there. If this feels uncomfortable, I have done another video. You can use a chair and do this one seated. And you can extend the leg up, breathe in, and you can lean forward, toes curling towards you. So you've got plenty of options on hamstring stretch. Hold it for me for a little longer. And then release. Shake up that leg. Bring the other leg forward. Hips are square. Bend the knee at the back and hinge. Look up. You can take the arms out to the side if you wish. You can hold on to the bent leg. Just focus on your breath. Try not to hold your breath in stretches. It creates tension, which you don't want. 
and then gently release, step it in, fantastic. All right, demonstrating from the side now for calf stretch. Take the leg out behind you. Now check that both hips are facing forward and bend the front knee. Focus on pushing down into the back heel. So both feet are flat and you should feel a calf stretch in the back leg. Look up and then when you're ready, interlock your fingers, just drop the chin and round the upper back muscle. So we're stretching upper back and calf now and breathe. If this is uncomfortable, option two is just to hold on to the shoulders and draw the elbows down. So I'll show you from the front so you get a sense of it. So this is your first option. And then you can also interlock and just gently round, almost push the arms away from you. No tension around the shoulders or neck or jaw. Release the arms, step in, stand tall please. Take the other leg behind you, check that both feet are facing forward and your hips are facing forward, all right? So you don't want one hip twisting here. So just make a few adjustments if you need to. Push down into the back heel, bend your front knee. Feel the stretch in the back calf. Opening up chest, option one, arms out to the side, look forward. Stay here if this is where you are today, or Option two, hands in jeans pockets, look up, draw elbows in towards each other. Or option three, interlock your fingers and draw away. I'm gonna demonstrate that from the back. Should I have a look? Option one, option two, or option three. and then release, step in, shake everything out. All right, next move, you're gonna balance on one leg. Now, for this, um, I would suggest you have the chair close by, the balance will feel great. Um, if you have any hip or knee issues, your first option is to bend the knee and remain here. All right, just focus on lifting out of the hip. Second option, if you have long pants, you can gently hold on to the long pants and draw the heel in. Or if you want to put your shoes back on before we do this, that's fine. You can hold on to the back of the shoe. Or if you can, take hold of the ankle and draw the heel in and lift. So chest up, look up, breathe. If you fall out, just smile and get back in. So I'm going to demonstrate that from the front so you can see my hips. Bend the knee, draw in, lift out of the way. So everything is lifted up. There's no collapsing down. And then slowly release, shake up the leg. And obviously repeat on the other leg, choosing your options carefully and slowly. <clears throat> lift up, chest up, look up, and release the leg. Just another tip, if you have any issues with injuries, you can also just bring your knee onto the chair and that sometimes makes it easier then to go into the stretch. So you've got the support of the chair and you're lifting up, right? What you don't want to be doing on this stretch, and I've said this many times, is kind of grabbing the leg and then sinking down, all right? This is a no-no this is not gonna open up the front of the leg, all right? It's far more beneficial to just be here and lifting up rather than grabbing and then collapsing down, okay? So that is front of thigh stretch. What I'd like you to do now is take one arm up, drop it behind, hold on here and just do a bit of a tricep stretch. Option two, Bring the hand up from the front and gently pull back. Option three, support the elbow. So back of the arm stretch here, all right? So again, I'm gonna demonstrate from the back so you can see the different options here or just there. So you choose which one is safer for you to do. And then gently release, shoulder roll out, take the other arm up, 
drop. Hold on. A couple of deep breaths in and out. Choosing the options best for you. And then slowly release. Shoulder roll out, loosen up, shake up the legs. Widen the legs for me, soften the knees. If you've got any conditions that make you feel a bit dizzy, option one, side flexion, and just hold it for me. Otherwise, reach one arm up, flex to the side. Gently release, come up, other arm, lift, flex to the side. Okay, and then release. Now I want three deep breaths in. So you're gonna inhale, exhale out, two more, breathe in, gentle breath out, one more, reach up and release, shake it out. Fantastic everyone, well done. I hope you um, enjoyed that. Um, please uh, write some comments in the comments section below the video. Um, so that was a follow on from a previous um, strength training session that I did. I just added in some lunges and some different movements here, but we, I'm going to keep doing these. But it's always good to know what you want more of or less of. Um, I've also done a chair based stretching session as well, which will hopefully be on YouTube sometime fairly soon and another Zumba dance workout too. Um, but do let me know what you want to see more of and any feedback or share the Central YMCA page to any people that you think might find them helpful um, during this time where they're not able to have, perhaps do as much physical activity as they are used to. Thank you for supporting the page. Thank you for supporting the videos. Um, and thank you for supporting the charity. Remember, um, if you do want to make any donations to the YMCA charity, there is a link below. Um, please have a look at that. It'll help us to continue our work um, in the community with um, older adults, children and young people. So when this coronavirus crisis ends, we can come back hopefully stronger uh, than we were before. Um, but thank you for watching and have a lovely week ahead. I will see you back on this channel very soon. So do take care. Thank you and bye-bye.